Hey, what's up, guys? This is uh, Fula with another video. Shout out to the whole LDBC. Um, you know, again, yeah, this these incidents keep on happening, and so with these things happening, they need to um, they need to basically ban football until they clean it up because it's not cool, man. And it keeps on happening more and more. You know, um, again, I've said it before and I'll say it again. If foreign players, right, decided to leave the, um, the, the EPL, the Bundesliga, the La Liga, the Serie A, then those leagues wouldn't be nothing, okay? They really would just be like just these basic leagues. So, they really need to stop. They really need to clean this up because it's, it's enough already, man. And it's been happening way too much. And these organizations such as UEFA, such as FIFA, need to really step up and uh, make harsh punishments. Because these punishments are, um, they're not, they're not harsh, you know. So what I'm going to talk about is, I'm, I'm talking about um, an incident that happened today. Um, you know, an incident that happened during the Inter Milan Napoli game, um, and it had to do with uh, Kalidou Koulibaly. And what happened was that you know, Napoli they lost the game to Inter Milan, and um, and and. Basically, uh, the, the enemy line fans did monkey chance. Basically, um, the 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 thing is about it is um, it wasn't handled the right way either because um, you know they sent Koulibaly out of the match. Um, and what what happened is that um, he actually clapped his hands at uh, the Inter Milan fans for doing those monkey chants, man. And so they they sent him off. Why, why not send the fans off who are doing those chants, man? Like why not punish them instead? Um. And um. What happened was after um, he's like, um, I'm sorry about the loss, and above all, I have left my brothers out on the pitch. However, I'm proud of my skin color to be French Senegalese and Neapolitan man. Um, the thing is about this is, um, you know, um, you know, Inter themselves have black players, okay. The thing is about this is that, like, how, how are you going to make racist chants and you have players that are black y yourself? You know, and mind you, I'm an Inter Milan fan, okay? This is my favorite Serie A team. But for, for them to, you know, give these racist chants out, it's, it, it, like, shows that basically, like, Okay, if, if they're giving him racist chants, it makes you wonder, like, okay, how, how do they feel about Case of Baldwin? Or how do they feel about Asamoah? Like, I mean, I mean, these, these Italians, man, really have some nerve, man. I'm telling you. Okay, it's really kind of ridiculous because, it, you know, I have family that live in Italy and stuff like that. And, you know, I understand, you know, Africans, you know, 
some of us do get a bad rap because some of us get involved in things that we're not supposed to get involved in. You know, that we have um, no business in getting involved in, man. But honestly, it's a really small minority. It's not a lot. The majority of us want to basically get there, live life, save money, send money back home, and that's what it really just comes down to. Okay? Now, another thing too, man, is like, yeah, I'm gonna take it a little bit past, um, a little bit past sports. This is uh, going a little bit deeper, man. The immigration problem in Europe would not exist if it wasn't for European and Western imperialism in Africa. The resources of Africa fund and keep Europe afloat. Europe doesn't have no natural resources, man. That's why they're like coming to us, signing different agreements, signing fishing agreements to um, basically stay afloat. And that's just the reality. The thing is, with with the with these like racist comments and stuff like that, and these monkey chants is. Um, you know, that, that's a deeper problem in society. That's the thing, like, that's how they, you know, I can't even call it that they're just trying to have fun or they're just trying to, that they're just so into the game that they do these uh, chants. I can't even say that, man. I, I have to call it for what it is. I mean, if you were, if, if they were having fun and just using these chants, like why not? Why not use another chant, or why not just boo instead of uh, making monkey noises? You know, and just just say boo. You know that would be better. And um, the thing is, man, like you know, th- this this happened to a lot of players who came through and enter. And stuff like that. Like you have Mario Balotelli, who's like Italian but um, of Ghanaian descent, who who also got racist chants from Inter Milan. And mind you, he came from the Inter Milan Youth Academy, and they still gave him racist chants. You had guys like um, who else? I mean, you have you have guys like um, Pop Cooley, uh Joe, who who plays in La, like La Liga. He got the same treatment, the monkey chants and stuff like that. Um, you have guys like uh, Usman Dembele, Paul Pogba, and they played in Russia. Um, not the World Cup, but just regularly, they got the um, racist chants as well. The monkey noises. You have guys like um, Wil- Wilfred Zaha, man, who who complained about like um, Man U, Manchester United fans, or maybe it was Arsenal fans who called him a monkey, man, and, and even threatened death on death on him. You know, so you know, I, I think there's like a really big problem that is not being addressed the way it should be addressed. I mean, you have, you have these, uh, you have uh, UEFA and FIFA who are, who may find these teams, but that's all they're doing, man. It's just finding uh, the teams and they're not even finding uh, them that much. They need to do more drastic actions need to be taken, man. They can't just let them do this. Because if you just let them do this, they're just going to continue doing it over and over again. And they're just going to think it's okay to do when it really isn't okay to do. And then, you know, what's going to happen? Like, these these players, man, 
I mean, I, I would not be mad at these players, man, if they just decided to say, you know what, you guys want to make racist uh, chants at me, man, I'm, I'm not going to even play for you guys anymore, man, man. I'm just going to leave. I'm just going to, we'll, we'll start our own league. You know, like that's, I mean, and it's very possible. That could be very possible to complete, you know? And it's, it's crazy. Like, it, it seems like that this past year, man, like, mostly all, mostly all of the, um, mostly all of the, the players of note, like the, the African players of note, have had an incident in which they were a target of racism, man. There was at least one incident or so that, you know, racism came across them, man. Whether it be in England, whether it be in Spain, whether it be in, what, like, Italy. So, I mean, and, th- and this... And this has to do with the fact that the colonial legacy, that's what it really comes down to, is the colonial legacy that never left. Because when, when they had the scramble for Africa, this is the whole thing, when, when, when the nations, Italy, Germany, France, Britain, and even Spain for in a lesser sense, went to Africa to, and, and Portugal as well, to basically colonize Africa, man. They, you know, they basically cut up Africa and did what they wanted. I mean, even when reading books, man, like, uh, Pre-colonial people did not know what Nigeria was. Like pre-colonial Africans didn't know what Senegal was. Pre-colonial Africans didn't know what Mali was. Pre-colonial Africans didn't know what a place like um, Guinea was. You know, these lines were artificially drawn on. And when these lines were artificially artificially drawn on it just led to a pro uh, uh, a, a stereotype that never left the people behind man the primitive stereotype the uneducated stereotype the civilized barbaric stereotype and you know they carried these things with them in in, in Europe so once like colonial ended and you have mass immigration to Europe from Africa because of the simple fact that the colonial powers were still calling the shots. You know, these things never left. These stereotypes and these kind of behavior too, Africans never left. And it just transcends it transcended into sport, man. I mean, even like um, in Italy, you have a Nigerian athlete. I, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think she threw the hammer or something like that. I believe it's the hammer that she threw. You know, people weren't happy with her, man. And, you know, someone hit her in the face. And she needed uh, something to cover her eye with. Basically, someone threw something at her. You know, and it was racially um, motivated. I mean, the thing is, man, I'll I'll speak about racism because um, it's still going on, man. And until it stops, I'm going to continue to speak on it, man. So you guys can keep on trolling my channel. Saying that, you know, oh, I'm a racist. Saying that, oh, I'm a race baiter and things like that. But until, like, the necessary changes happen, 
you might as well not come to the channel then because I, I will speak out about these things, man. When they need to be spoken out against. But that's all I got for now, guys. I mean, leave your, your comments. Let me know what you think should have been done. Let me know if you think Kuli Bali should have walked out beforehand when they were doing the monkey chants. And let me know if you think that let me know if you think enough is being done about this, these incidents, since these incidents keep on happening. That's all I got for now, guys. Good job.